Okay, I thought I'd make this quick little movie about a running Plex media server on um, uh, Apple TV 2. Um, I'm not going to go into too many details about how to jailbreak your Apple TV, but obviously you need to jailbreak it in order to run Plex. And then to actually install Plex, it's a really simple process of copying and pasting about five lines of code. Um, you, uh, you obviously have to SSH into your Apple TV and you just, um, you just copy and paste those five lines of code. Let me just um, adjust my lighting here. Uh, so anyway, like I said, I won't go into too many details about it. Um, I have also XBMC running on my Apple TV, um, but I won't show XBMC today. Uh, I initially put XBM, I initially jailbroke my Apple TV purely to run XBMC, but since then I've found that Plex uh, does things just a little bit quicker and it's a little less clunky or a lot less clunky, I find. So we'll just click on Plex. Uh, so it brings up, you can sort your movies by release date, by genre, by uh, director, by leading actors and so forth. But for now, I'll just click on all movies. Um, so it loads uh, all the album artwork. Um, it loads the rating. It gives you a synopsis. Tells you who the lead actors are, who the director is, what the genre is. Uh, the date it was released and obviously the, uh, the running time. Um, so uh, I find Plex is really handy. It's, uh, when you scroll through the movies it does it really quickly. I find it does it a lot quicker than, um, than what XBMC is. I found XBMC was, um, was very clunky with this. Um, so anyway. Um, I suppose the best thing about um, Plex is the way it can manage your library. And by that I mean the way it actually um, uh, categorizes all the movies. Now, you know, all these movies are like downloaded and, um, you know, whatever, DivXs or um, MKVs or they're ripped. Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's really handy. Um, Okay, so I've just clicked on the Born Supremacy. I've already played this movie, so it says, would you like to resume or would you like to play from the beginning? So we can go, say, play from beginning. Um, now it'll buffer, and uh, this is running on a slow network. I'm only running Wireless G for the Apple TV because that's just what my router is, an old Wireless G router. And um, the computer that the server software is running off is also running on a Wireless G network in another room. And this is quite a large file, so um, it's actually quicker, or I find it's quicker loading the movie than what um, XBMC was over an SMB share. I don't know if that's because you've got, uh, you know, server software talking to its client. It might just do it a bit better. Anyway, um, this is obviously uh, the Born Supremacy. Um, you can skip through the movie. I think XBMC is a little bit better at skipping through the movies than what Plex is, but um, the good thing about Plex is it sort of maintains the Apple interface, which I like. Anyway, we don't need to see any more of that. Uh, the thing I really like is you can go down to say director and you can say search by um, finding all the movies in your library done by the same director. And once again, this does this by looking at the title of your movie and scraping databases and um, and obviously um, uh, adding all this metadata to every movie. So I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let's just pick, let's, let's pick, gosh, there's so many directors. Um, it would be good if you could actually type in their name. There you go, so Face Off, that's the only movie I've got in my database by John Wu, or if we go down, oh, it's a more well-known actor that I might have in here. I'll pick one, anyone. There you go, two high school musicals done by that guy. So so I find that's really handy. It's pretty straightforward. I, I, won't, I won't sort of go into details, but um, you know, the other day I, I, look, I clicked on, um, um, uh, my, well, here we go, I'm, I'm right there now. Martin Scorsese, for example. And um, there we go, it's found Casino, The Departed, and it's already knows I've watched half of The Departed. You can see it's got a little half moon icon there and I haven't finished watching it. Um, Goodfellas, Shine a Light, The Rolling Stones um, film that he did in Shutter Island. So I find Plex is the way to go for that. Now, 
it also does TV shows really well. So if you go down to TV shows, um, it uses online scrapers and so forth. Um, so uh, it's put all the TV shows that I own. Um, it's basically organized them a lot better. These were all just lumped into a folder. Um, I've got thousands of TV shows, so it was really difficult for me to actually um, to actually manage them. And this, I find, does it uh, very effectively. Um, so you can click on a, I'll say, Mad Men. Um, it's found that I've got uh, four seasons. Once again, it's downloaded album, the DVD artwork. It's given a brief synopsis of each season. But the good thing is when you actually go into it, um, it gives you a little synopsis of each episode, which I find is really, really cool. Shows you the running time. And it even tells you uh, when the um, when the movie first aired, uh, when, the, when it first aired on TV. So that's kind of kind of cool. So I haven't even tried this. So you just click on one. And once again, I think these are MKVs that are being ripped off uh, DVDs, so they're not the smallest files in the world. Um... Previously on AMC's Mad Men. No okay, so that's obvious. Um, so yeah, so that's basically Plex. Um, it also does music, but I think the standard Apple TV does music a little bit better. So I won't go into... Um, I won't go into details there about the music, but uh, I think in another program, another movie, I might show you what Xbox Media Center is like, but for now, that's Plex running on a jailbroken Apple TV, and uh, I really recommend it. I mean, the Apple TV here in Australia only costs $129, and when it's combined with Plex, um, you've got quite a little powerful device, and jailbreaking it doesn't, um, doesn't take away any of the other standard features that you normally have with your Apple TV, so you can still... Um, you can still browse your, uh, you know, your online uh, iTunes store and so forth. So, um, so I think um, in terms of a media device, I really like the potential that the Apple TV 2 has, provided it's jailbroken. Um, I think it lacks features and um, certainly lacks what it can actually play back uh, in its standard form. But uh, certainly um, get out there, jailbreak your Apple TV and give Plex a go. Um, anyway, in the next movie, I'll show you what uh, Xbox Media Center for the Apple TV looks like. Um, so stay tuned for that. Cheers.